there, welcome on tuxacher.com. In the today's video, I want to introduce to you a relatively new app for Android smartphones and tablets. It's called DSLR Dashboard and works both with either Canon or Nikon brand cameras. As already mentioned in the article, DSLR Dashboard installs a library called OpenCV from the Google Play Store, but this version seems to be incompatible, e.g. you run sometimes into problems acting, activating the live view on your camera. So switch to the developer's website, I post a link in the article, and download the correct version. After installing that, disable automatic update. Okay, after we done that, we will start DSLR dashboard on our Nexus 7. Okay, we see a connected Canon 7D with activated live view. As usual with those apps, you have on the right hand side the regular controls, e.g. for the file format, switching like from RAW to JPEG or any other combination. Also, you can, can control the ISO settings, the exposure correction, okay, and at least the automatic white balance. A little bit hard to find was the um, control for the magnification of the live view, that is the little camera symbol I have just touched. There you can switch to a 5 time or either a 10 time magnification of the live view. Okay, on the other hand side we have the trigger to actually take a picture. Okay, I have to... Okay, took a picture. The control for automatic focus and relatively interesting on video capable cameras you can control e remotely video capturing like here on a 7D. Okay, sorry I sometimes have a little bit of trouble controlling the pen. What's a little bit bothering about this app is uh, the fact that if you have put the live view to five times magnification, you are not able to focus on a detail by touching the screen like DSLR controller can do. That is really have to be improved for the next version. Okay, the next usual functions is a so-called exposure bracketing. You see here the details for the bracketing. Uh, in this case, we have three exposures on the underexposed and two overexposed photos to take. You just enable the function by the little checkbox there, okay? Go back and go to the trigger to trigger the six exposures with the different exposures as you can see in the control. Okay, now we've taken the six exposures and back to live view. Okay, before we go any further, I will disable the bracketing function and uncheck the enable key. Next thing we take a look at the focus bracketing. First line is the number of images you want to take like for a macro stacking. The next field is quite difficult to my opinion. This is the focus step. The focus step is depending on A, the lens you're using and B, the uh, magnification factor you're using for the pictures. Last thing is really easy. It's 
getting the focus quite away from you or wandering up to you. Another tool on this application is the function for time-lapse photography, as you can see here in this window. First of all, you input the frames per second rating, like here, the regular is 25. Then you input the number of frames you want to take and the application calculates the duration of the movie. That is a quite nice feature from DSLR dashboard. In addition to the settings discussed before, you can set on cam Canon cameras either the so-called picture styles. The difference to setting them on the display on the camera, the three user-defined picture styles are only shown up as the variables instead of the real names if you installed other picture styles for e.g. for movie taking and so on. But I think that is bearable. Do you think too? Okay, the last feature we take a look at is the presettings. If we take a look at the presettings, you uh, can see that e.g. for example I can define if DSLR dashboard starts with the activated live view on top. Another feature, if you shoot JPEGs, you can determine where JPEGs from your camera are imported. Like on this one I can s define the safe location. I won't do that because I don't have an external memory card. The last I want to show you up is that DSLR dashboard is obviously uh, capable of inserting the GPS location. Okay, that was my first review on DSLR dashboard. I hope you liked the video at least a little bit. And if you have any questions or any comments, just drop them on the blog. I will see you next time. Ciao, Tux Ocher.